interview with this guy, Russ Hicks, who is a longtime stutterer, has been a member of the National Stuttering Association for years. You know, funny and, guy, nice guy, and funny as hell. One of the things that he said was, every day you need, a, especially in the beginning of this process and of this journey, you need to do things that are going to make you uncomfortable, you know? You need to put yourself into situations that you're uncomfortable in. And I was wondering, <laughs> because I know you're into this sort of thing, and I've seen over the past week, like, you really trying to challenge yourself. And I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about why that's been important to you. Well, you know, I think it's really easy sometimes to just say, okay, I can see what benefit I would get from going out uh, and talking to people in the park about my stuttering and it's going to help me feel more desensitized about it. Okay, I understand how that could be helpful. Mm -hmm. I get it. I don't really need to do it. But there's something about when you actually feel those feelings, you know, when you, when you challenge yourself and you do these things that you didn't think you would be able to do before, and there's a sense of accomplishment that goes along with the fact that you're actually desensitizing yourself to stuttering and those two things together I think really help. Yeah. And Catherine always talks about too like the the liberation and becoming fearless and that just that feeling of empowerment that mm -hmm. I mean especially in the beginning like I know you're feeling this right now too. It's so empowering, and it's mm -hmm. so like, man, for such a long time, I've been trying to run away from the fact that I stuttered. And mm -hmm. when you start to like face it, it's like, holy sh. What? <laughs> um, That's a good bleep. <laughs> sessions at the Institute, but it was already something small. I was at the bookstore with my friend and I started to go around. It was my old habit just to look for a book because I didn't want to ask for it because I thought I would stutter and all of a sudden I just stopped and I thought, I can go ask, you know, and it's not a problem. <laughs> so I went right over there. And I asked the guy, I said, hi, you know, I, I stutter sometimes, so it might take me a while to ask you what book that I want. And he said, well, yeah, that's totally fine. <laughs> and then I said it, and I, like I was telling you, it was painfully easy. Yeah. And I was just like, wow, <laughs> this is how it should be. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely.